So here we have Symphoricarpus albus, or snowberry, in the Caprifoliaceae family. So some of the key identifying characteristics for our Symphoricarpus albus are, first of all, if we look at the leaf arrangement, we will see that the leaves are opposite. So opposite leaves, they are simple. So they're very, very tiny buds. So opposite simple and the leaf margins are typically either entire or you'll see very fine lobes. And those lobes occasionally can even look kind of like a goose foot or something. So <clears throat> entire or finely lobed. Um, they typically range in size from about three quarters of an inch to two inches in diameter, but they can be significantly larger or smaller depending on the site conditions. The Flowers are typically pinkish urn-shaped flowers that are about a quarter of an inch in diameter. The fruits are white and about a half inch in diameter, and they're born usually about three to five to a cluster, <clears throat> sometimes more. And those fruits will actually persist in winter. So in winter, you might be hiking through this area and all of the leaves are gone because these leaves are deciduous but you'll see those white berries and from a distance it often looks like snow has fallen within the branches of the Symphoricarpus albus. So I think of it as a symphony in white. The twigs on your Symphoricarpus albus are slender and again they're arranged opposite one another and the bark tends to split lengthwise with a hollow pith. So in terms of uses for wildlife, it can be an important browse species, primarily for birds, and then it's very popular as an ornamental because it can tolerate a wide range of sites. It prefers moist, well-drained sites, but it's widely distributed throughout North America.